why the longest flight never be easy for the aircraft industry, but everyone is looking for that. Yep, it's challenging, it's hard, it's difficult, and you know it's also exciting. That's why Qantas Airlines just revealed this crazy big plan with Arbus that shocked the whole industry. No one has done it before. So let's find out in today's episode of Flag Avia, what is Qantas Airlines' big plan? Why did Qantas Airlines choose Airbus, not Boeing? Let's dive in. Back in 2017, the then-announced Project Sunrise aimed to push the boundaries of long-distance travel, with planned flights covering distances of more than 10,000 miles in durations of around 20 hours. These long-haul flights will significantly reduce passengers' travel time, eliminating the need for stopovers and improving overall travel efficiency. Qantas' vision is to create a new breakthrough in the field of commercial aviation and set a new record for the world's longest non-stop flights. Qantas CEO Alan Joyce highlighted the significance of the project, stating, Project Sunrise is set to redefine the way we travel, offering unprecedented convenience and speed for our passengers. This is a game-changing moment for both Qantas and the aviation industry as a whole. At the time, experts questioned whether eliminating stops would increase plane emissions, and medical experts were concerned about the passenger experience on long flights. Therefore, Qantas conducted test research trips in 2019 to monitor the impact of flights on the health quality of passengers through controlling the hormone that affects sleep, melatonin, to ensure passengers and crew members would be able to fly continuously for up to 22 hours. The test monitored biological clocks caused by light, food movement, sleep patterns, and entertainment from the flight. As mentioned above, Qantas first announced its vision to operate ultra-long-haul routes in 2017. But due to the global COVID pandemic, which had a huge impact on all airlines, pushed back its expected launch to 2022. With the global aviation industry now booming again, thanks to post-pandemic travel demand, Project Sunrise is certainly back on the agenda with an expected launch date of 2025. The airline now operates direct flights from Perth to London and Rome, which have proved popular despite being more expensive than traditional services stopping in Asia. Qantas operates Boeing 787 from Perth to Europe and has used the aircraft for a test flight on the Sydney to London route. And when it intends to expand its flight distance to the United States under the framework of the Sunrise Project, the Airbus A350-1000 is the card it chooses. So what advantage does the Airbus representative have to win the victory over the Boeing 777? First, Despite both having adequate range for the longest standard long-haul flights, the A350-1000 beats the 777X here with a maximum range of 16,112 km. In contrast, the 777X offers a little less at 13,500 km. Second, it may be related to the price of each aircraft. As can be seen, 7779 has a list price of nearly $450 million, and the figure for 7778 is less, but will at least cost more than $400 million. That means both 777S are expected to have a higher list price than the roughly $365 million price for the A350-1000. The 1000 also has a clean design with composite construction, while the 777X has an aluminum fuselage although it uses some composite materials on the wings. Previously, even the 777X was laughed at when people said Boeing was just trying to integrate the modern technology of the Dreamliner 787 into the aging fuselage of the 777 series. Boeing claims that the new 777X will also be the world's most efficient wide-body aircraft thanks to improved engines and aerodynamics. However, until the aircrafts are put into use, it is difficult to compare their effectiveness. Additionally, Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB engines, designed specifically for the A350, deliver superior performance and fuel economy compared to competitors in the market. Equipped with 68 high-pressure turbine blades, these engines produce an incredible 50,000 horsepower and save more than $2.9 million per year in fuel costs per aircraft. With the above advantages, the Airbus A350-1000 was chosen as the preferred aircraft, and 12 aircraft were ordered in May 2022. 351,000 will help Sunrise deliver more direct routes, significantly reduce point-to-point -point travel time, up to four hours compared with one-stop flights, and a flying experience second to none with a cabin interior and service design, 
influenced by medical and scientific research carried out on research flights. Recognized as the large wide-body aircraft of the aviation industry, the A350-1000 can comfortably accommodate from 350 to 410 passengers in a standard three-class configuration. To travel nearly 11,000 million miles without stopping, Qantas needed a plane that could carry more fuel. As a result, they chose to redesign the cabin on their A350 to accommodate just 238 passengers in a four-class layout, making it the aircraft with the lowest cabin density of any other. Notably, up to 40% of seats are premium seats, completely consistent with the airline's motto of wanting to bring maximum comfort to its passengers, even for economy seats. It's simple to understand because these long-haul flights take nearly 20 hours to complete, so redesigning the cabin for convenience is natural. Let's take a look at the seat classes on this plane. It can be said first class is the pinnacle in comfort and luxury for ultra-long-haul travel. Six spacious, enclosed first suites, each designed using the latest in textile innovations and ergonomic design to create the ultimate luxury travel experience. With 50% more suite space than the A380, the suites feature a flatbed and separate reclining armchair, with a large flexible work and dining space for one or two people. A full-length wardrobe can also be found in each suite, along with several areas for personal storage. The new Qantas business suite has been designed with privacy and exceptional comfort in mind. For the first time, Qantas business suites will feature a sliding door for additional privacy, as well as an adjustable divider between the alternating center seat. Complete with a large dining table and work surface and increased storage options, the suite features innovative designs and materials to deliver a superior level of in-flight comfort. Arranged in a 242 seating arrangement, every detail of the premium economy seats is carefully considered to bring passengers more comfort and convenience with a 40-inch wide seat pitch and headrest. The privacy seat has adjustable 8-inch wings for maximum comfort and a calf rest that allows for full leg support. Even economy class seats are designed with a 33-degree pitch and a six-way adjustable headrest for optimal support. It's also equipped with a 13.3-inch entertainment touchscreen with Bluetooth audio connectivity and powers passengers' devices with two fast-charging USB-C outlet. So what benefits does Sunrise bring to Qantas and Airbus? Able to connect Sydney to destinations in Europe and North America, Qantas is the biggest winner. They have increased their presence at several major European airports. After nearly two decades, the airline has announced the re-establishment of operations from Charles de Gaulle International Airport to Perth Airport. Regarding Airbus, surpassing the 777X with the A350-1000 aircraft that was chosen to complete the ultra-long haul operations is extremely hopeful. If the project goes according to plan, Airbus will be positioned as a leader in the ultra-long-haul market for many years to come. This could certainly be a blow to Boeing. However, the route could negatively impact airlines connecting flights between Europe and Australia and parts of Southeast Asia via Middle East or Central Asia hubs. On the other hand, these long flights are not without their challenges, which have raised some questions from industry and medical experts about whether eliminating stoppers is actually a good thing. In addition to the aforementioned concerns about passenger health, aircraft emissions are the subject of analysis by industry experts. Qantas claims the A350 uses 20% less fuel than other similarly sized aircraft and has 25% less carbon emissions per seat. However, in reality, it is impossible to know exactly whether they can fill 350 with passengers or not. Therefore, the emissions data calculated per capita for each row of passengers is bound to be misleading. The passengers that Qantas targets are those who believe they will save a lot of time by flying nonstop. And super long routes will attract airlines to operate those routes, which will help significantly improve congestion at major airports. However, if 20-hour flights become popular, the luxury cabin configuration may be abandoned. Because that will be a price competition strategy, they will have to reduce the price of air tickets sold. There is no doubt about the ambition of these ultra-long-haul aircraft to make incredible trips, not only for their networks, but also for their passengers. And, as an Avgeek, are you excited to fly 20 hours non-stop from Sydney to New York? Please share your opinion, and thanks for watching.